Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen, my name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Lone Wolf run where we're trying to beat the game on the hardest difficulty with only a single soldier permission. It's a crazy ride and it is pretty remarkable that we're still within the run despite all of the hardships that we're uh, facing. I think we're failing most of the missions but still the game gives us chances over chances over chances to recover. This one here being yet another one of uh, these chances. Biggest problem uh, is, however, that we're lacking the firepower. Uh, we barely uh, can get some of the crates, maybe. So the game rightfully assumes that you would have at least four soldiers. And if you have soldiers at the squaddy rank, they can handle eight enemies if you play your cards right, even with ballistic weapons. So I've shown that a couple of times. But one soldier alone just doesn't have the firepower to deal with the advent here. Okay, mutants, as well as advanced um, troopers, pretty sturdy foes. You know, maybe we can sneak out and get this crate over here. Nice, they are moving out of line of sight. Two crates are right there. My life is in your hands. Shit, the patrol is still somewhat close. Could we get this crate? Maybe. We need to find a crate that allows us to essentially quote unquote hack it without being seen because we're going to be revealed right when we're when we're attempting to do that. Okay, currently no one is here to see us, so I'll start revealing us. We're picking up a steady signal from and we're overwatching in the hopes of next turn to re-stealth. Well, that changes our plan. All seeing reveals concealed units and blast immunity means she's pretty much the counter to to our operative. Sounds like that chosen is headed right for us. Keep your guard up and your eyes peeled. Firebrand is on deck for recovery. Keep marking. Okay, we got a single crate. Might be able to snatch out another one here. Probably not. Ah. Nope. That's a clear no-no. I could mark it, but it won't matter. Yeah, that's one, which I would say is a victory. Well, it at least counts as a victory. Yeah. 
and there we go so we got ourselves like what a few supplies superior hair trigger is good don't even know where we got that one from oh wait what the entire loot was the superior hair trigger oh come on fuck you wow Ugh. I am beyond disappointed about that loot. Rookies. No, we don't need rookies. We need alien alloys. How is the, how can the game just disregard that fact so much? It gives us adventure power. It's great, thank you. But how is it possible that the game just completely and utterly ignores that we require more alien alloys? Our research has been delayed for seven days. Yeah, well, doesn't really matter. Okay, next up, reduce avatar projects process. That's important. Let's get Hogbite in here. Gotta make sure that we're countering the risk um, of getting captured. And Hogbite is being accompanied by his friend. There we go. It's only a low chance to to get dragged into combat, but still. All right. We're hanging on by a thread. We can reduce it by two further bleeps. Oh, nice. Look at that. Alien Alloys 15. Thank you so much. That's exactly what we needed. Before we get another crackdown, We're continuing with plated armor. We don't need up, uh, the modular um, cannons because we're not going to use grenadiers in this run a lot. <clears throat> okay, recover an item and we can counter an event. We, we will do that in a second, but before we do so... Um, I'm trying to do that, Shen. Alien Alloys 44 and Alarium Crystals. This one here is what we need to excavate. 45 days, but it will give us resources. It will give us a lot of resources. As a matter of fact, it will give us the resources that we need. We were to upgrade this here. Yep. We can free him and put him here. That way we're getting it down to 30 days, which means one more month and we should be fine. I see an opportunity, a light at the end of the tunnel.
And this here will mean we need to be really careful, but we can do it. I don't think that we will be able to do the normal mission, but we at least can counter the dark event. The Templar, uh, the Reaper is probably our go-to person for most of the runs, simply due to his concealment. Seven days. Neutralize all enemies, recover the tissues. Well, just gotta recover it. Suppose, can we call a Sky Ranger? Yep, that's important. We got some difficult enemies to deal with. However, we should be fine as long as we can bypass all of them. I will go. Wow, okay. Pretty strong enemy forces. Careful now. An alien scouting party. I am on the move. Careful, careful. All right. First of all, calling in a Sky Ranger. Okay, good. Secondly, let's hack the chest. This here would be awesome, but it's only a 1% chance. This here is essentially 40 intel. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, we're taking the 5% the chance. Yeah, almost got there. Good, everyone immediately gets excited. That's good. Damn. The Advent um, officer are also um, coming in at, in their advanced form. Well, that's a problem. Those guys are strong. We're now fighting against enemies with 13 hit points on average. Well, at least we countered the dark event. I think it was quite clear that we couldn't fight them. As long as there is even one Reaper left standing, you can bet they're still in the fight. Finger on the trigger. And some loot to to offer us um, money on the black market. We're now shaken for 50 days. Well, that sucks.
Okay, we don't need rookies. We could use some more inter. That's becoming an incredibly dangerous threat here. We need to make sure that we get our defense metric soon. Elsewise, this run will be over. We can reopen the black market. Great. Thanks. It's five days of scanning for nothing. I'm glad to see our joint effort paid off like we hoped. Nice. We could get another scientist plus mobility, another engineer. That here isn't bad, bad as well from a timing perspective. I think additional re resistance orders are helpful. Plus one health is good. And we still have an ambush chance, uh, ambush chance. Um, I would actually leave it because the ambush is one of the very few missions which we could do in order to to level up the soldiers. Okay. Ooh, and we can buy Larium. Let's do that right away. Yep, we can sell the hair trigger, easy peasy. Let's wait until they are in demand. We just got our Illyrium crystals. That's super helpful. Let's take a look here. Plated armor and upgrading it would be hel it would be really helpful. The psionic portion is the next one that is hel uh, that that we probably would need. Just researching Illyrium in general after plated armor is probably worth uh, doing because that allows us to get to power armor. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will need to look up the defense matrix and how we can uh, get enough um, corpses of of towers because we need to get a defense matrix going now so that 
probably will be an issue. Maybe we need to go for the Black Side Wild mission. But then again, I don't know if we can sneak through it and still let it count as, as a successful mission. It's probably not going to work out. And Hogbite is not yet ready to full-on engage an entire mission of 20 plus enemies. He will get there eventually, but he is not there yet. So I need to delay the Chosen because I don't want um, the Chosen to attack the Avenger next month. Um, she will probably get enough knowledge to be able to attack us the month after next month. So, so we're on a timer for, yeah, probably for two months now. And if she really attacks us, I don't know how I should defend it. I mean, I could bring two soldiers into that mission. And even if I somehow were to upgrade the weapons of those soldiers and get them into power armor until under this very point, I'm not sure. It's probably not going to work out because we would be fighting against 30 enemies. Pretty large sized packs as well. The defense matrix is important. It'll give us four towers and that essentially would shift the tide of power totally in our favor. I mean, what we could do if she attacks us is... Ah, no, we couldn't even do that. I was about to say we could uh, sneak um, all the way to the uh, to the explosive uh, battery with our um, with our Reaper, and then simply blow it up. But that's probably not going to work out because she can detect invisible units. So that's a non-starter as well. Yeah, I got to think that through and come to terms of uh, how we're countering it. For now, I would um, probably uh, end the, uh, the this episode here. And we're going to resume with the next month um, in our next episode. As always, guys, thank you for watching. It's a real struggle to, uh, to somehow keep this going. Uh, campaign alive like barely alive because we're failing so many missions and it's almost embarrassing uh, to to lose like three out of four missions but still we're we're staying strong the the adventure attack however that's that's something else I can I I cannot cheese my way out of that need to think about it all right. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Um, as always, if you like the content, uh, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Take care. Bye bye.